Rabbit here, and welcome to a very special edition of Rabbit Tea, Rabbit and Friends. And as you can see, we're not in our usual um, New York City uh, spot, but uh, we're we're actually here at the at 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 the special press facility for the uh, fan website showbizpizza.com. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm here. My special guest here is none other than. Looney Bird. Hey, how you doing, everybody? And for those of you who don't know, Looney Bird is from is a member of the um, restaurant band. I guess that's what we call it. Uh, the Rock of Fire Explosion. Yep, that's right. Good fans of mine. Uh huh. Yep. Right. And great bunch of guys. Oh yes, and you perform inside the likes of uh, Billy Bob Broccoli, who's yep. pictured, pictured right there. Uh, yeah, Billy's like a big close personal friend of mine. Known him a real long time. I knew him before he was a star, you know. Ah, that's yep. great. And and then Fats Gorilla, there's there's Fats. If I lean back, there's Fats. Yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, and over there is Earl Earl Schmurl. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. And then and you know, don't we have a picture of Beach Bear? Uh, I think it's behind you, Looney Bird. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Oh well, yeah, maybe if you lean back a second. To, to um. Right. Okay. How about uh? Back. How's that? There you go. There you go. There. Is, oh no, it's Duke. That's Duke LaRue. Okay, Duke LaRue. Sorry about that. Duke LaRue. Okay. And they all performed together in the Rock and Fire Explosion, and uh, for many years uh, performed at uh, Showbiz Pizza Place yep. restaurants all over uh, the country. Great place, man. Yeah. But you still perform at some places, but uh, not Showbiz Pizza anymore. Well, unfortunately not, no, because they had to close, but... Uh, they closed or morphed? Uh, no, uh, nah, they closed. Uh, okay, yeah. I we, we won't get into that. Uh, well, well, it's unavoidable. I mean, um, I mean, I, I well... Well, I know. Well, listen, you know, uh, I mean, I actually met you for the first time, like, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, because we were both, uh, we were both present at Cheese Vention oh, 2. Oh, Cheese Vention 2! Uh, the CV2, <laughs> which was the, uh, which is the first, uh, uh, actually, the second annual, um, Chuck E. Cheese and, uh, and Showbiz Pizza, uh, Rock Fire Explosion, fan convention! Yeah. Oh, it was a great time! Oh, we had yeah. a blast! It was really great having you there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, fun being I know Billy Bob had a good time, too. Yeah, that was the first time I actually met Billy Bob in person. Yeah. I mean, I he was on your show. Yeah, right. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh-huh, right. And, of course, you know, because I'm, I'm, I've been, Chuck E. Cheese and I have been pals for, like, over, way over two decades. Yeah, 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 whatever, and, yeah, whatever. And, uh, and I got to be, uh, take a stage with Chuck E. in that show. And, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Now, I, now, I was interviewing the fans there, and, you know, I said hello to Billy Bob there, but, and now, when I was, when I was interviewing some of the fans there, uh, you know, you were kind of, like, looking in the background. I expected you to, like, jump well, in or what. Why didn't you? I just, you know, I was a little shy, and, uh, I know you were, you were, you were interviewing everybody, and, uh, I just, you know, I didn't want to just butt in. I yeah. figured, you know, you'd see me there eventually, but, uh, then my agent called, and I had to take that call, and I had to head out, and by the time I got back, you were already done, so, uh, you know, I just didn't bother. You, or, or is that, either that, or is it, are you sure you were waiting for you to have a whole episode of my show? Well, you know, show. there's that too, but, uh, <laughs> you know, mm. just, uh, just didn't want to butt in there, and I figured, well, you know, if he really wants to talk to me, I'll hear from him. Yeah. And I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> So it's great being here. Uh, oh, yeah, this, this is great. I never knew, I never knew uh, showbizpizza.com had a press. Oh, of course it. they do. Well, you know, I'm, Showbiz Pizza, uh, thanks to showbizpizza.com, has uh, really been able to bring together a lot of fans from around the entire country uh, that have shared this enthusiasm for Showbiz Pizza Place and, and uh, you know, that other place. That, that but, uh, yeah, Showbiz Pizza, they, people just didn't know that they had as many fans as they did. But thanks to this brilliant website, showbizpizza.com, right. it's brought them all together, and when they go to Cheese Vention, they actually get to meet each other. That's right. I was there, and I'm a, I'm a member of showbizpizza.com. You do yep. see postings there by Rappity Rabbit. That is really me. Yep, it sure is. Oh, yeah. So, so but this, anyway, this press room, is this, is this like what the White House press room is going to look like when they finish Well, they probably won't the have the cool posters up and stuff, and they certainly won't have my Dalek, so uh, oh. I don't know about yeah, that. What, what is it with that dog? Where did that come from? That, that's my Dalek. You brought it with you? Yeah. This is my special Dalek, because I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Doctor I love Who? that show. Doctor Who? Doctor Who. Doctor Who? Who? Ow. Oh. He hit my beak against it. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but this Dalek, he's, uh, he's actually my co-manager. You know, he kind of ensures that I always get my way. Hey. Yeah, he always ensures that I get my way. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, you why, know, so, why people don't mess with me, because the Dalek, you know, anybody who knows, Daleks... You don't want to mess with. Yeah, but doesn't he get? What well, couldn't he get you better gigs than me? Well, 
I suppose you could, but, you know, it's kind of an honor being on your show, Rabbit. Really? You know, I've seen a lot of your shows. Really? Yeah, I have. So, you know, this is quite a treat to be able to be interviewed on your show after all these years of kind of, you know, uh, even though being Chucky, forgotten. Even though Chucky's been on my show so many times? Uh, <laughs> I didn't know about that. I thought you but, said you were still watching my show. I didn't well, see, I, I, didn't see the, I didn't see, uh, I didn't see the him. He's been on your show? Oh, quite a few times. I, I've even produced a couple of music videos. Why for him. did you have him on your show? Because he and I are good friends. He was one of the reasons I got into showbiz. I mean, oh, show, well. showbiz generically it is not showbiz oh. pizza. He's one, he's one of the reasons. He was one of my inspirations for 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 uh, getting into showbiz, along with like uh, Big Bird from Sesame Street. Oh, Big Bird! I know all about Big Bird. Big yeah. Bird. Big Bird's actually he's pretty cool. Yeah, well, he's been a good friend of mine too. I've known him for over thirty years. Really? Well, well, I, well wait a minute. That's, that's just that's something strange there. I mean. He's, I've known him for such a long time, but he's only supposed to be like six years old or something like that. Oh, well, you well, know, he's in, six years old. in bird years, you know, that's a long time. Oh, so nobody knows how old you are then. Well, that's not something I like to talk about. Oh, okay. That's, you know, that's kind of personal. You know, that's funny. Uh, you and Big Bird actually have something in common. Yeah? What's that? Both of you have first names that are adjectives. Gee, you know, I never really thought about that until right, now. That's right, because... Your first name is Looney, and you are a Looney Bird, and my friend Big Bird from Sesame Street, he is a Big Bird. I mean, big and Looney. Yeah, that is true. See, hey, hey, I got something to show you. I think, you you'll, I think you'll like this, Rabbit. Yeah, I, okay. I got something here in my barrel. Hold on a minute. I'll, okay. be, I'll be right back. But let me go get him. I think I got him here somewhere. Okay. Oh. Check, check this out, okay? You're going to okay. like this. Okay. What do, you, what do you think of that? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a big bird plush toy. Do you like that? Oh, yes, I love it. That's sweet. He's my buddy. So, You're yeah. Really? Oh, I'm all into big bird. Ah, okay. Yeah, let me, let me put him away now. Well, maybe I can get you his autograph that next time I see him. Whoa, you can do that for me? Oh, yes. Sure, Tim. That would be awesome. Okay. I would love that. I'll see you next time I, next time I see you. You know, I still have his book Um, that, well, the friend of big bird, Carol Spinney. Yeah. I have the book that he wrote called How to Be a Grouch, and, so and I love that book. So have you been following it? That is an awesome book. Yeah, but Actually, I, I've taken some of those tips to heart. If, I mean, I wasn't sure it was meant to be a guide to life like Carol Spinney's autobiography. Well, I, I don't know about that, but his How to Be a Grouch was a great book. Oh, yeah. To everybody watching, go out and buy that book. Uh, I, think they'd have to, I think the only place they could find it would be on eBay. Well, that's okay. Go on eBay and find that book, How to Be a Grouch by Oscar the Grouch. And uh, co, I think, co-written or something like that by Carol. Yeah. Yes, yes. Definitely worth finding. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I've met Oscar too. In fact, I've been inside Oscar's trash can. It's very roomy. You have been inside his trash can? Yeah. Even I haven't been inside his trash can. I'm lucky to have this barrel. Well, well. Do you know what I had to do to get this barrel on the show? Well, listen, they're both, they're both, both they're, Oscar's trash can and your barrel aren't, aren't dissimilar. I mean, they're both round, cylindrical, uh, Whoa. objects. Uh, hey, uh, I'd like to see his, uh, does he have uh, cable TV in there? Oh, he's got plenty of stuff in there. He's got room for elephants to rock in his trash can. That's legendary. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, do you have room for elephants to rock, or what? The <clears throat> no. Nope. What's in there? Um, that's uh, kind of personal. Oh, okay. It's your private space. Yeah, it's kind of my private space. Yeah, it's like your, it's your. It's hey, like I showed you my Big Bird. Okay, that's enough. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's your plush collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so anyway, Looney Bird. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's, it's kind of something. If you um. I just sort of wonder if you, you, you I, I know you perform a lot with uh, the, the Rock Park Explosion yeah. and with Billy Bob. And you, and yeah, you, occasionally. And you, in fact, in fact let, let's say you know, we have a little clip right here. We can go to this little clip of uh, you and Billy Bob performing. Oh, that would be cool. Yes, okay. Yeah, check this out, everybody. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at this one, okay? <laughs> Enjoy. A little reverb, please. Feel. A little more reverb. Not anymore.
sorry, Looney Bird. I didn't mean to pick one you didn't like. I'll tell you what. I'll do a different song, okay? Okay, Billy Bob. Here's a song that was number one, longer than any other song in the history of music. You light up my life with reverb. for you, okay? What would you like to hear? Rolling Stones! Okay, Looney Bird, let's have some Rolling Stones! Rolling Stones! Here's one by Nick seeing that. Mm -hmm. You know, I bet some people who are watching this show right now, Rabbit, probably are having a flood of memories come back to them about Showbiz Pizza Place. A flood? Yeah. Because, wow. you know, that we might I hope be... I don't break. We might be helping to rekindle some memories, you know? Oh, wow. Hey, did they have any showbizes in New York here? Uh, the closest ones in New York... Well, well wait, we're... Well, the closest ones to New York City were in uh, North Hackensack, New Jersey, uh -huh. and Watchung, New Jersey. Okay. The one... The one, the one in North Hackensack um, opened in 1983, and then, wow. in, and then, in like a couple years later, it beca it, it became Fun Time Pizza Circus, and uh, Fun Time Pizza Circus. Yes, because of the what the, a ripoff. Well, no, it had to do with the fact that they didn't want it. Well, it's kind yeah. of complicated to explain. It's it. okay. You don't have to tell me. I already know. Yeah, but, I know the whole story. But, and that, but that one stayed around. But that one stayed around all the way till the end of summer 1995. Wow. Know, before that became a memory too. Gee, good for them. Yeah. But I remember going there too. That was, where, that was the very first play time I ever saw you on stage, and ever, ever saw Billy Bob performing on stage. Uh -huh. Yeah. Life-altering experience, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, right. Like, like, like Billy Joel says, "Who needs a house in Hackensack? Is that all you get for your money?" 
Uh, I don't get it. Oh, it's a Billy Joel song. Oh, okay. Anthony song. Remember Anthony? Oh song? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, working too hard can get you a heart attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to ask you something. The thing is now, if you if you sing a song, would that be considered a Looney Tune? Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yeah, but then wouldn't Warner Brothers sue you? Ah, uh, nah. When you have a dollar as a manager, okay, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Oh. I mean, seriously, come on, man. I got a dollar for a manager. No, I really? Can't, I can't say that. At least you have a manager. I don't have any manager. See, check him out. He, he's getting agitated right now, okay? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We, we better change subjects. Okay. Who, who you don't want to see him when he gets angry. Yeah, he might fire some laser weapon. Yeah, yeah, he, he's like he's into all that extermination stuff. <laughs> extermination. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so, um, anyway, uh, and, and, and I see, you know, like, uh, I, I understand uh, y you, once, uh, you once had a restaurant named after Yes, you. I did, actually. Looney Birds. I had my own place. Um, actually, Billy Bob was kind of upset about that, but, uh, well, that's another story. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, what, aren't there a lot of celebrities, uh, celebrities out there from the entertainment world that, you know, open up restaurants with their names on them? I mean, it's not... Oh, well, yeah, that's true, but, uh, yeah, this was a special place. We were hoping to kind of, you know, rekindle the, uh, Rock of Fire explosion, uh, excitement and, uh, try and, uh, you know, resurrect Showbiz Pizza and that whole concept. Yeah. And uh, we opened three locations. I, I, I think it was three. Well, there was one in Orlando, and uh, there was one in, uh, I think, Jacksonville, Tennessee. Oh, not Florida. Yeah, uh, Jacksonville, Tennessee. And I think there was one in Louisiana, too, but I'm not 100% sure. Because, uh -huh. you know, it's my manager, manager's job to keep track of all that stuff. Right. Not me. Right. I mean, that's why you have managers, right? Well, well he just li well, he licensed your name or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I was making buco bucks there for a couple months. But, uh, <laughs> a couple months? It all uh, kind of fell through, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. But well, that's okay. You know, live and learn. Yeah. Hey, you know, you can, you can open your own restaurant. Hmm. Rabbit Tea Rabbit's Funland. Oh. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, and I can help. Just some ideas, you know. If if you need any help, you want to talk more seriously about it, you know, get in touch with my agent. Lots of plenty of salad, plenty of carrots in the salad bar. Oh, absolutely. Lots of coin-operated horsey rides. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Oh, so anyway, well, 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 let's see now. Um, I, I you know, I, I actually have your first album, uh, with the Rock Fire Explosion, and really, uh, and it was uh, very straightforwardly entitled G R first album. Uh, yeah, it was. Well, you know, we we were debating about that. We were trying to figure out if uh, we were going to come up with some, you know, really fun name. But uh, nobody could think of any ideas. I think there was too many corn squeezins going around that night or something. But uh, we just settled for that. Well, it's better than just calling it the White Album. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> that name was taken already. Well, at one point we were going to call it the Brown Album, <laughs> you know, because Billy Bob's brown. But yeah. then we figured, well, you know, people might read things into that that, you know, wouldn't be cool, so, uh... Yeah, well, you did, you, you guys did some Beatle covers. Well, yeah, we did, but, uh, we decided, gee, our first album was better. Yeah. Did you ever come out with a second album? I mean, I've seen a lot of EPs from you. E anyway, you remember what an EP is. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, there's probably a few people out there that still remember. I have one. In fact, I have one that's framed and hanging on my wall. Really? Yeah, and I got that from, um, uh, I got that from the webmaster of showbizpizza.com. Wow! Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's like hanging there on my wall. Pretty proud, you know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we did a lot of 45s, you know, uh, seven-inch singles, mm -hmm. uh, a couple songs, but... Uh, you know, how, it's kind of interesting how many kids out there won't even know what singles and vinyls and 45s are anymore. You just know how times have changed since uh, since you guys first started performing together at... Uh, yeah, I know. It's long. It is amazing, you know. Technology today and all. Oh yeah, I mean, are you, are you guys? I mean, are you guys on? Uh, are you guys on MP3 now? Or oh yeah, you're gonna show pizza.com, You can download stuff. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You can. You're on MP3. In MP3. Yep. You can download videos too. Oh yeah. That, well, well, the one we just saw came from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know. But but I tell you one thing. I kind of miss LPs. Uh, I miss the, the the cardboard sleeves with the colorful artwork and everything. I mean, you yeah. buy something. You buy something on CD. You need a magnifying glass. Oh, absolutely. It yeah. totally destroy the entire art of album covers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a shame, really. Ah, oh, I know. Yeah. So uh, so anyway, so what have you been doing now? Since uh, I mean, are you guys still touring every now and then? I mean, are, you, are there some restaurants where you still can be seen? Nah, I mostly appear at conventions now. Oh. 
That's I mean, about it. I mean, I do not see, too much. I do see a, a few places which um, purportedly have the rock horror band um, performing on stage. I mean, there are a few places around, but they don't. But they're, but they're not showbiz pizza, though. Oh no! I, I mean, there's a couple places I appear at, but I mostly stick with just conventions. Uh huh. Okay. Better money. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, something. This is something new to me. Oh, but uh, uh, I mean, but the ones that you really appear at, you appear at the CBs, the cheese venues. Yeah. Ah, oh, great time. Oh yeah, like I said, I love that one that we did up in the Boston area uh, last year. Ah, that, oh, that was like swell. Was, oh yeah. Had a blast. Mm hmm And I got to, I got to, uh, uh, I got reunited on stage with my pal Chuck E. Cheese. That, that was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, you should show some of that on your show. Oh, I did. Oh, you did? That was on your show? Yeah. In fact, we. In fact, originally it aired on my show when we uh, when I, Chucky and I actually performed that song together at the uh, Chucky e. Cheese's oh, in Route 22, cool. Union, New Jersey. Awesome. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I was at the grand opening of that store in Union, New Jersey, way back in 1984. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and. Um, I'm on showbiz. Did you have to showbiz to view? Well, unfortunately, I didn't have. I, I would have liked to, but I didn't have connections with anybody at that time. Oh, darn it! I had. I had connections at the one in uh, at Chuck E. Cheese's in Union, New Jersey, which lasted until the fall of 2003. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, yes. I was so bummed to hear about that, man. I really fell for you. Oh, yeah, I know. But, uh, it, uh, I mean, it's not like we, we I, I used to go in there and, like, we could always play a game of air hockey and yeah. like, invite me up and do a live show and everything. It was cool. I suppose if you're into that kind of thing. Oh, yes, it is. Well, you know, I'm still a singing and dancing rabbit. Oh, that's cool. Well, I meant, you know, going to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah. I can do it too, but I need to. Uh, well, yeah, well, like the cast, the cast I know is not there anymore, you know. Nah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want my opinion, there isn't much of anything there anymore. Well, is there, <laughs> so where do you hang out now? Then, where do you yourself hang out then? Me? Yes. Oh, you know, I'm around. I go to different places, you know, do different things. Mm -hmm. Um, I do a lot of movie cameos. Oh, really? Yeah, I hang out with the stars. Oh, you done? You done a few movies? Yeah, cameos? yeah, you know the usual. Oh, do you can you, do you recall any offhand? Well, I think my last appearance was in this movie. Um, I don't even remember what the title of it was. But I was a stunt double. Oh. A lot of people don't know this. Because, you know, I lead a secret life. Oh. I just don't hang out in this barrel. Oh, okay. You, 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 <laughs> take, you take a role in I mean, I mean, I remember when Chuck E. Cheese did a, um, a, a, a cameo appearance. Do we have to talk about him again? Well, he did do a movie cameo, which I can actually name. And what might that be? Don't tell Mom the babysitter's dead. He was in that movie? Yes, he was. What? Yes, he was. I didn't know that. Well, he... Well, Christina, Maybe it's better I don't know that. Well, Christina Applegate and her friends there are talking, and you see Chucky in the background, uh, you know, saying, Hi, hi, kids. Hi, hi, kids. For some reason, they... Uh, for some reason, they put some special effect on his voice to make him sound how like a clown. Disturbing. Like, like, yeah, I know. They made him sound like a clown for some reason. I have to make sure I don't see that movie. Yeah, well, it's, it's on... It's, I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. <laughs> uh, what is it these days? Uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. You are? Yeah. Cool. YouTube? Me too? Uh, at least until the copyright cops come after me. Cause the, yeah. It's, it's hard to put anything on YouTube now that's really legal clean, you know, unless you're somebody who can actually afford, you know, the, the pay for clearances or to pay for your own software. Yeah. And, you know? I mean, but I like synthesizing stuff, you know, taking stuff, taking, as, I, as uh, my co-star Cuppy would say, found material and, you know, making something creative out of it. Oh, well, I'm all for that, you know? I mean, that's how that's how I did videos with Chuck E. Cheese, and also I did videos <sighs> like that with Bugs. I also did a video like that for Bugs Bunny. Ooh! That's right. Bugs Bunny? I, that's right. I work with, I actually produce a music video for Bugs Bunny. Hey, that's Bunny. pretty awesome. Bugs is cool. Oh, yeah. All he's, right. He's, he's, he's that Oscar-winning rabbit. He is. Right. He's, and, uh, he's, he's not a big bird winning rabbit, but he's an Oscar winning rabbit. He's huh? actually a rodent character I can get into. Oh, okay. Well, I, I could get into that too. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Off, we're going off wait a team. minute. But, but. That's off topic. Yes. TMI, too much information. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. So, Looney Bird, uh, well, so, so, I that. You're, so, so you're actually the second bird that's been on my show. Why well, could. I've had, I've had a few birds on my show over the years. Really? Oh yeah, I used to have a. Who else has been on this show? Oh well, Big Bird. Big Bird has not been on the show directly. He's kind of like lent his voice to his show. Like we've talked to him over the phone and stuff. Wow. Like that. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I used to have this. I used to have a, a character on the show by the name of Russell Z. Rooster. 
Who's that? Uh, well, he was this green rooster who played the bass fiddle, and then at one point, he, I think he even appeared in a music video with Barry Manilow. Way back really? Up, yeah, way back in the uh, early wow. 80s. Oh, yeah. I remember him. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm trying to get the feeling again. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, so anyway, yes, I, I mean, so I like to rub, I like to rub elbows with um, people in the showbiz world. I mean, I interviewed Dr. Demento once. You know who Dr. Wow, Demento that's is? awesome. Oh, yeah. Dr. Uh, Demento's a cool guy. I used to listen to his show. You, you still can. Why don't you anymore? Well, it's online, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, well, you know. In fact, it's on, and, well, we're, it's a Sunday when we're shooting this, and he's, uh, he's actually on Sunday night. Cool. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I used to listen to one on the radio here in Boston. You well, know, that's what I tell you. Radio's changed so much. So many things aren't pay, are, that should be on the radio uh, aren't on the radio anymore, or you have to pay extra for them, like buying satellite. Well, I'm on the radio. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. You are on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe you can maybe you can tell everybody about that here. Well, um, I have a radio program on ShowbizPizza.com that's called Letters to Looney Bird, and fans can send in questions that I will answer on the air. They email them in. Yep, they uh -huh. can email them. Go right to showbizpizza.com. I tell you up there. See that cool sign up there? Yeah. Just mail them into that sign, and I will answer your questions well, mail, you on mail, the air. You mail them to that URL. You don't mail it to the. You don't mail it to the sign. The sign wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah, that. yeah. Well, they know what I mean. <laughs> they know what I mean. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Well, that's cool. So yeah. So you you actually have a uh, an audience on the web. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure do. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, anyway, well, let's see, you know, uh, what's that, this, this, uh, was somebody watching the clock there? Uh, okay, oh, well, all right. Well, anyway, Looney Bird, it's... Uh, yeah? Okay, well, listen, it's, it's, it's great for you to uh, come here on the Rapperty Rabbit Show. Oh, and, it's been a pleasure, Rabbit. And, and, like and I'd like to thank uh, showbizpizza.com for allowing us to use their press facilities, and also post, and also, and also remote uh, facilities provided by Furry TV. Yeah! Oh, you yeah. guys rock! Oh, yeah. Look at I'm that. very That's impressed. Great. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm very impressed. Too. Hey, they, let me, they gave me a great barrel to appear in. A great barrel, yeah. yeah. Well, get to roll it home, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, how's the, what's the price per barrel nowadays? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, well, Louie Bird, thank you for joining us. Hey, sure, anytime, bud. All righty, and everybody out there, thanks for joining us here on the Rabbity Rabbit and Friends show, and until then, everybody, uh, keep hopping happy. Hey, see you later, folks.